भुजगशयनम पद्मनाभम सुरेशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृशम मेघवर्णम शुभांगम लक्ष्मीकांत कमलनयन योगी ध्यानगम्यम वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकैक today we will see how the devotee is arguing with the god so that is today's discussion we are actually going through following the discussion between the uddhava a great devotee of krishna and a friend too and he was the minister of the krishna so that uddhava he will be putting the arguments very interesting arguments and the krishna will be giving the answer we don't know whether we'll be able to uh, reach to that or not but it will continue so today is the arguments of the devotees because of the presence of god in the form of krishna this jadava clan became invincible they became so powerful wherever they used to go they used to conquer no one could defeat them so obviously we could understand we can understand that they became egoistic whenever the success comes that brings the ego but we forget the success is coming because of the presence of god blessings of god this is a very peculiar thing when we are not successful we always go to god we go to temple we go to holy people we always pray to them but the moment we become successful we forget and we start thinking that is because of me same thing happened to the yadava clan they became very powerful and obviously they were rich and arrogant these are the things automatically it comes they forgot the reason of their success that the presence of the god among them rather they became egoistic and ego makes a person away from god <coughs> always this is the thing that's why bhagwan sri ramakrishna said you have to remove the ego and in bengali he said ami mole ghuchi be janjal all problem will be solved if you can remove the ego so this ego they took them away with god every effort become successful without god every effort become failure whatever the effort we may do but we need the blessings of god that's why in the last verse of the bhagavad gita it is said that you have to strive you have to try but yogeshara krishna but at the same time the blessings of god is also necessary otherwise it is not possible sometimes a very intelligent student and he has written the answer so perfectly unfortunately it goes in the hands of a teacher who never did the justice to that he was angry or never read that properly he gave the marks and you have nothing to do so it goes in this way why and you know <laughs> particularly when you were going for the american visa american people don't understand but indian knows when you go for the american visa is all depends on luck one couple went they said oh you are elderly couple 
Now, if you go and you will stay back over America, we won't give you permission. Another couple went, almost the same age, without any question gifted. So how can we explain this? This is very peculiar. So this is what the, our ancestors are telling. You must, must pray to God. Why this God is all powerful. So we have to. Brahma and other gods, they all came the last time we read and we discussed. They all came and they observed the egoistic behavior of this clan, the Yadava clan. And they understood that the days are coming to end. Because the God himself took birth in that. He manifested in that clan. And he was leading that clan. They were successful. How come they became so egoistic? So obviously the gods understood, oh, now the divine play is going to be completed. So they all came. They all came that and to, they understood that Sri Krishna is going to separate himself. So they came and the Brahma said, Nathunate Akhiladhara Devakarya Vishoshitam Kulamcha Viprashapena Nashta Prayam Abhuditam O God, the support of the universe. God is the support of the universe, isn't it? Because God is the only thing. Now the problem comes when we try to explain God through science. Science is external. It can explain only those things which we can touch, can smell, can feel, etc. But what about the internal thing? That is the main, that is called the philosophy and the religion. Here you can never. Now suppose someone asks you, can you measure the love of your mother? You can go and check. Maybe it will be jumping like this and oh mother loved me so much, it is jumping in the monitor. That is not the way you feel. And someone loves you. You need not to talk about that. You will feel it. Even the animals also can feel. If you love the dog, the dog will also understand it. How it is possible? Because the communication it is very subtle. And if you don't like God, dogs, they will also understand. They will be barking all the time. Why this person here? How it is possible? So same here also, the God was there, everything was positive. God is not there. Slowly he is disassociating from the clan. So the Brahma and other gods, they came and he said, he is, you know, that in a very respectfully, you are the support of the universe. You do not have any work to perform. So your all this work is done. And your clan, in which you have advented the Yadava, is at the point of destruction due to the Brahmana's scars. Is the last uh, class, those who have attended, you know how that curse was. The Shamba was the son of Krishna. His name was Shamba. He was a very famous personality. And this Shamba, the son of Lord Krishna, you know, sometimes the fathers, the parents, they come and say, oh, we could not make our children properly, we tried so much, but they went in there. Even the Krishna, his son, Shamba, what he did? With all his friends, they are all young people, they drank a lot, and they were roaming on the streets, and then they found that after the holy performances, rishis are returning back. And they found, oh, these are the people. Let us go and have some fun with them. So Shamba, he dressed like a pregnant woman, lady. And he went, and friends, they asked, Sir, can you please tell what uh, the, where this, this person is, I mean, the lady, is going to give birth of a girl or a son? Rishis could see. They could understand. They became angry. They never expected that insult. And they said, we give you the curse 
that he is going to give birth of a mushala, mushala almost like you know the javelin, very sharp and strong iron man, and truly Shamba, they produced that from his body, and after that they understood. Oh my God, it was a mistake, and these young people. They tried to break it. They broke it in a small, small pieces, threw it in the water, in the river. But even the Rishi's curse, the holy man's curse, so that, that's why you should not make the holy man angry. If you don't make them happy, at least don't make them angry. Okay. So this is the way always it happens. And this Mushala Parva, this is called Mushala Parva, is a, that way it went. The Brahma also said to the Lord, so that was the curse that the Brahma was mentioning. The Lord, if you wish, please go back to your own abode. Now the Brahma, he is the manager. You know, the, the Brahma was created by God himself. But he is the manager shirt of three. He is managing everything. So he came and told God, all people are behaving like this. You have to do something. So God took the human form. He took birth as a Krishna and he settled all those things. Then the Brahma came and told, you have done whatever we are supposed to do. Now, if you like, I cannot ask you to go back. So if you like, sir, you can go back. He is telling, Tata. So dhama paramam vishaswa yadi manyase yadi manyase it is a sanskrit word if you think yadi manyase you can go back to swadhama in your own abode and the shuka he is giving the description and he described the condition of the yadavas and the unique behavior of lord krishna who completely unperturbed. So we have to learn from the behavior of the Lord Krishna. His own clan, his own son, his own family and he himself made all these things. But you know what? He withdrew. This is the important thing in the spiritual life. We can do many things but do we have the power to withdraw ourselves? No. It gets so much attest. It is almost impossible. And there the difference is. What is the difference between spirituality and worldly mentality? Worldly mentality is always attest with anything they like. And spirituality, spiritual person, they like it. They live with it. But when necessary, they can withdraw their mind from it. That is what the Sri Krishna did. And he said, the Swadham. Then Shuka is the Bhagavan Aha, the God is telling, Yadu Vriddhan Samagatan. So now it says like this way, Yadu Vriddhan. The Vriddha means the elderly people. And they are from the, the clan of the Yadus. All young people, they were killed. Except the women. And the girls, no one, one survived. So they killed each other. That was the terrible thing. Only some early people who were not in that, who were close to Krishna, they all gathered around Krishna. And Bhagavan, that God himself, Aha, told them, to whom? Yadu, Vriddhan, Samagatan. They came. God didn't go to them to tell. But when they came and requested for the advice, then the God is telling, go to Prabhasa. Prabhasa is another place. Now, this Sri Krishna, he established a wonderful you know, that, uh, kingdom in the western part of India. It's still there. It's Gujarat. Nowadays it's a Gujarat. And in one small part of Gujarat is called Prabhasa. It's also very, uh, very holy place. Go to Prabhasha, the holy place, immediately leaving the Dwarka, the main place where the Krishna established his kingdom, is Dwarka. So Dwarka is still there, and there is a Bhet Dwarka, and another place, it's a name like Bhet Dwarka, 
and people they go, still they go. But the original Dwarka, they say, it went into the water, it's still they are submerged under the ocean. Then they, Krishna is telling, you better go to Prabhasha right now. Those who are surviving, better go, leave right now. Don't wait. And after, go to that place and bathe in that holy water. And after bathing, offer puja and the offer the, to the gods and give gifts to the holy people. And thus you will be free from sins. These elderly people didn't do anything. Only the younger generation, they were making like that the pranks and then the curses came. But this is the problem in the society. If someone is doing bad, then all are affected. No one can be saved. So this is the way it always goes. And that is the reason, it is the responsibility of the elders to take care of the junior people, guide them properly, so that they grow with a, a sensible mind. What we are doing, we should be careful because this is going to affect the others. All elders of the Yadavars who survived the curse and the fratricidal war, the death from the hands of their own people, they came to meet the Krishna and Krishna said like this, go to the Prabhasha. Ete vai samuhut pata uttishti sarvata iha. Ete vai samuhut utpata. Utpata means the calamity that has come on us. You better move right now. Papaschana kulasya adit. Kulasya asit. Brahmanebhya durattaya. Because the curse that has been given by the Rishi is the Brahmanas. They are not mentioning Rishi, they are mentioning Brahmana. What the Brahmana? Those who are realized souls. Those who have realized the Brahman, the all-pervading consciousness, whom we in a simple language call God. Those who have realized God, they are words. That is not, they curse that all the Yadavas will die, those who are here. So you are also Yadavas, though you didn't do anything, but you will be also under that. You better leave, run right now. And it says again and again, Krishna is telling, right now, you should leave. And they were also, then the, this Shamba. Now, let me give you a little information about this. You know, the Shamba, that particular son of Sri Krishna, who played that prank, he developed leprosy and there's a terrible disease in those days and you know in the Jesus life the leprosy people he developed a prince he developed the leprosy what will happen he went to bed Dwarka and started worshipping the sun god so they say they describe in this way he understood the his mistake then he went to the Ved Dwarka and sat over there days after days worshipping the sun. The moment the sun is rising, he is looking at it and getting all that sun ray. And slowly, this is the sunlight therapy, he was cured. In the present day, Jamnagar, still that city is there, in present day. In Gujarat, India, is having Ranjit Institute of Poly Radio Therapy. Many of you must be knowing. This was built by Ranjit Singh before the World War II. The slowly revolving tower provides full day long sunlight for the treatment of skin diseases. The, the Shamba, he is worshipping the sun. The, the language is there, worshipping the sun. In reality, he was having the sun ray therapy. So this is very, very essential. Here also the people, they say, Swami, you were all the time here in the room. You must go out at least for 20, 25 minutes. The sun ray is essential in this country. So like that, it is not for the skin disease, but vitamin D. Some. So these skin disease still uh, uh, today, they are curing through the sun ray. 
So this the the shamba the deed, and it says papaschana kula asid brahmane bhya duraktaya. Lord then said, if we wish to leave, we must go to Prabhasa. Here the Sri Krishna he is telling them, if we is including himself, though the God is not having any death or anything, any change, but is a we. We must go to Prabhasa, if possible today, and should bathe in that holy water which cured Chandra from the cars of Daksha. Again, another small incident, the story it goes. So when you are reading the, this book, you should be ready to, you know, they are giving a beautiful way, all advices. So now and then they will be taking you to different incidents. So you will never feel bored reading this book. That is this wonderful way they say. And always it is connecting with the scientific uh, the truth. This is the Chandra. Chandra means the moon. It is says, like Chandra, we shall also become pure and then offer our respect to our ancestors and be happy again. So we can overcome what happened to Chandra. Here we should understand the astronomy and the mythology coming. That is Prajapati Daksha. He was having 27 daughters and Chandra, the most beautiful of all the celestial being, he married all the 27 daughters of the Daksha. Now, the Daksha, the Prajapati, the king, he said, look, my son, you are marrying all my daughters, no problem, but you should be attentive to all of them equally, no partiality. Chandra told, okay, that will be done. And then he said, if you mis make the mistake, then I will curse you. I will give you the punishment. The Chandra also agreed, it's okay, 27. And you know that lunar system, the lunar month, the Hindus, they follow both lunar month and also the solar month. And that's why you will find in the almanac of the Hindus, there are all differences. This time, one almanac will say, this holy day is on this particular date, and another will say, no, after two days. How they are calculating? This lunar month and the solar month. So that is the difference. So this way it goes, and according to the lunar month, which the Muslims are always following, and that's why they will never ever change their dates, and you know that they all depend on the moon, not on sun. The Muslims, they always were. So that their calculation is always on the moon. And if they can't see the moon in that proper time, their fasting will continue. Unless and until. So what they do nowadays is has become very helpful. Anywhere in the world, if they see the moon, they will inform all over the world and all the Muslims they will then break their fasting. One month fasting they follow according to the moon. And if they can't see that moon and on that particular day, their fasting will continue. But suppose there are a lot of clouds and they won't be able to see what will happen. So they are nowadays, uh, internationally, they're calculating. This is Chandra. You know how many stars are there? Who are the daughters of the Prajapati Daksha? Stars. And there are 27 stars and their names, few names I can tell you, the Indian Sanskrit names, Swati, Swati Nakshatra, many of you know. Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna said, at the time of the Swati Nakshatra, when the moon will be near to this particular star, which is Sati, and if that particular time any the rain falls, if that rain falls in some oyster and then the oyster goes down and to so all this calculation the, in the story of Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna. And here this Swati Nakshatra, then Hasta Nakshatra, another, another star is called Hasta. The Swami Vivekananda was born in that particular Nakshatra. When the moment he was born, that time the moon was with Asta. 
That's why they calculate the Indian, the moment that a baby is born, immediately they will take the, that particular moment they will record the timing and the place he is born because it all changes. Suppose on one particular day, first March, a baby is born in America in Chicago. First March, a baby is born in India, Delhi, they will be different. So when they are calculating their future, it will be completely different because the change of this. So the, we are not going to in details of those things, but very interesting. Now here, these 27 chandras, uh, the, the, uh, the stars, so they are moving. Another is Rohini, and you know, this is the nakshatra and the Sri Krishna was born. Another nakshatra, another star name is Purva Bhadra Pada. Bhagavan Sri Ramakrishna was born in that. And like this, Ubhay Bhadra, Uttar Bhadra Pada, Ashini, Purva Phalgani, Uttar Phalgani, Vishakha, Sravana, so many names are there, 27 names. So these, is, uh, these are the stars. The moon is traveling. Now the poor man. There are seven stars. Uh, 20, 27 stars, but the days are 28 days. So what he will do? And if you notice, every day the moon is moving to one star. And it is, then the last one, that is called Rohini, the brightest one. And they say, the moon, you know, the way they describe, it is not the human thing. It is all celestial, as if, he start loving the Rohini because of her beauty more than the others. So he started spending two days with the Rohini and one one day with the other stars. The other stars became angry. All the 26 of them, they went and complained to their father and the father Daksha, he told Chandra, I told you you should not do it, but Chandra, what do you will do? 28 days, he has to travel like that. So that is that is the way they always present. So it is it becomes very interesting for the people to read, but in reality, it is all celestial thing. And the Chandra main thing is the beauty. Chandra is beautiful, most beautiful. And the Daksha cast him, slowly, slowly you will lose your beauty. What the Chandra will do, he went to the Prabhasha and he bathed in that holy water and then he prayed to the God and once again it came back. That is the whole story. And this way, and the Sri Krishna mentioning that story, mythological story and telling, let us also go to Prabhasha and bathe in that. In every religion, there will be a holy place, holy water, and they will always allow them or ask them to go and bathe in that. And particularly the Islam, which developed in the Middle East, water is scarcity, and there is a, a well called Jam Jam, and the well water, they say it is very, very pure. Why? Because that is the only water source. People should not make dirty. So they say this is the the God love, if you take the water and drink and bathe, you will be purified. Ganga, the same way. Ganga, Jamuna, Godavari, Saraswati, all these rivers. This is holy river, holy river. Why they say holy river? Because the people immediately say, oh no, this is a holy river. You know, the most of the people, before touching the water with the lake, they will touch with the hand, sprinkle on their head, then only they will go to the water, otherwise not. But the moment you go and try to tell them through the science, they say, what is that? The water pollution, who is making? Nothing like, they will never listen to you. But if you tell them through the religion, they will follow it. So this is the way they protected and this water. So they all went. Referring to that, the Krishna is telling, Yatra Snatva Daksha Shapat Grihito Yakshana Uddurat, Uddurat means the moon. Bimukta kilmishat sadyo bheje bhuya kalodayam. Friends, those who are reading the Bhagavad Gita, you can understand 
the difference of the sign, uh, the language. This language, same Sanskrit, but little different than the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita's language is very simple. So it became very popular. Most of the people, they will be reading the Sanskrit in the Bhagavad Gita. This is Yatra Snaptva, bathing in which the Chandra got cured from the curse. Yatra Snaptva Daksha Shapad, the curse of the Daksha. Now Sukha, who was narrating those incidents to King Parikshit, informed him that the Yadavas made necessary arrangement to go. We should not forget those who were regularly attending this Bhagavata class and you know that the main character of this whole uh, is the Shuka. And Shuka learned this from his father Vyasha. Then the Shuka came to a king who was again getting ready for his death on the bank of a river. So this is all the story goes. They were not afraid of death. The moment they understood that I am going to die, he was a young man. He was again, that's curse. So he went and he was waiting for the death on the bank of the river. He was a nice king. He was a very good king. He was a relation of the Arjuna. So obviously many people came and he was saved before he was born by Sri Krishna. And when once again he is cursed and going to get meet the death, all people came to see another miracle. So something is surely going to happen this time too. Krishna may come and protect him. So all came and they gathered. And that time this Shuka, he is the purest of the pure. Why? He was not body consciousness. So what is the difference between purity and impurity? Ego. The more you are egoistic, the more the body consciousness comes. Oh, how people will look at me. All these cinema artists, the movie artists, they are all careful about their look. How people will look at me. How is my dress? How is this? How is that? They are spending millions on that. Why? Because there is so much attached to the body and the body is the only capital. If the body is not there, then what they will do? The poor fellows, they can't eat even. And look at me. I don't care about body. I need to go and eat. So you can just, moment you see a big aim, just enter and have some nice food. But those who are careful about the body, they will never do it. Not that it is bad, but this is a very good thing. But here in the spiritual life, they say, the moment the body consciousness comes, that is, you are separate from the God. So they are very much concerned about their own life. So they were preparing. They forgot what the God is going to do. Now, this is the point. The God, the Sri Krishna was sitting over there. He observed the calamity and he saw all his clan, they are dying, people are dying, killing each other. The terrible thing was going on. He could stop it. But he didn't do. He was simply waiting. According to your karma phala, you should have to suffer. His son, he was cursed and he developed the leprosy. Krishna didn't do anything. You did the wrong thing, you have to be punished. And this is called religion. The religion is completely neutral. Oh, this is my family, this is my why this is my son so i will protect them never ever that's why the religious people mostly they don't marry why no attachment completely jesus shankaracharya la buddha not like that so this is the way they always the same so here all people are leaving now this person the shukadeva he is telling again to that king. He is narrating the story and from that only we are getting. Somebody recorded and they gave. And he said, you know what happened? Another Jadava. All were afraid. They all were leaving. Only one person. He came and he came and kept his head on the feet of Sri Krishna. And he said, Pranamma Shirasa Pado Pranjali Tam 
Abhashataha. Abhashataha. He addressed and he said, And who is this? Uddhava. Uddhava was also a Yadava. But this is the difference that this person, the Uddhava, he was not fleeing, going away from there. He thought, how Krishna is here, how can we live? No, we should not. What is the devotee? They know wherever God is, there is safety. So they make no difference. Though the Uddhava was growing up along with the Krishna, he played with him, he did everything as the, in the same age, the children they do, everything they were doing, the playing, thinking, bathing together, going and eating together, everything same, just like the brain. But he knew Krishna is nothing but the God Supreme in that human form. So he came at this moment and Pranamma Shirasa Pado, he kept his head on the feet of the Holy Krishna and Abhashata. Deva Devesha Yogesha Punna Sravana Kirtana Samritta Kulam Noonam Lokam Samtaksha Bhavan Viprashapam Samarthopi Pratthahanna Yadishwara He is telling in the 11th book, 6th chapter, 42 words, he is mentioning Deva Deva Isha. When addressing the Krishna, you are the God of all gods. Isha, Isha means the God. Sometimes they translate as Lord. The, these gods a G capital and G small. The small Gs means they are also very powerful, but they are not the supreme God. Supreme God is G capital and he is everywhere. So the, you are the Isha, Isha means the God of all the gods. And you are the Supreme God, you are the Yogesha. Yoga, Isha again, those who are attaching themselves or you making unity with the God, you are again the Lord of that. Yoga, we know the yoga. The yoga, nowadays the, the word yoga is very popular, but that is for physical exercise. But another yoga is their union with God. The sometimes you will find the people are sitting over here, closing their eyes, meditation. What is this meditation? Making the union with God. How? Forgetting my, myself, that's all. The when you forget yourself, what remains? Consciousness. And what is that consciousness? God. So what is meditation? Forget yourself. You have to forget that you are there, these all people around. So he said, you are the Yogesha, Punna Sravana Kirtana. And if the people are listening to your words, and if they are singing your name, if they are reading about you, that is the holy thing. Most of the Indian people you will find, early morning they will bathe and in the Ganga they will see go to the temple, they will see it and chant the name of God. Sometimes they will meditate and take the name of God uh, silently, that's called Japa. Then they will open the book and read from the holy book. Ramakrishna mission, Swamis, they always believe that all paths are leading to the same goal. So they have no distinction. I follow the Hindu path and I follow Vedanta, that is one thing. But I am not going to criticize others too. I respect them too. But there was a very famous Swami in Vrindavan. Vrindavan, you know, the holy place of the, uh, the Vaishnavas. So in Vrindavan he used to, and he was very old when I met him. And he used to go to the temple in the early morning and with a Quran, a Bible, a Tripita and Bhagavad Gita. These four books he used to take. And he could not carry his assistant used to carry. So he will be sitting. Then he will meditate for some time and he will open a book and read. From the Quran. He will read few pages. Then again he will meditate. After some time he will open another book. Like that, morning seven, 
to 11, 11, 30, he used to practice every day. Then he would be coming back and taking a lunch, taking a little rest. That was his routine. He was the direct disciple of Ma Sharada Mani Devi. All our monks, they used to have the great respect for him. And I also went and took his blessings. So this person, what he did, what is the holy activity that he did? Reading the holy books. And sometimes some Hindus, they'll be reading only their books. But sometimes the Vedantin, they read only Vedanta book and never other books. And if they are Vaishnavas, they will read only Bhagavata and nothing else. And even in the Bhagavata, if there is a discussion of the Jnana, they will not read that part. So this is not good. The narrowness. Friends, after some time today, I am going to address a gathering in the church, in the Methodist church. They are going to introduce me to their congregation because by the grace of the mother and the Thakur, we are going to purchase that property, the Methodist church, maybe with, within two, three days. So th those people, they invited me to introduce to their gathering what type of religious people we are. They do not know, so we are going to meet them. This is the thing I am going to tell them. That we are following one path, but at the same time we have the respect for you too. But the only thing, we should be good people. In the name of religion, we should not cheat others. And in the name of religion, we should not create problem in the society. No, we should not. If we cannot realize God, okay, that is up to me. But don't go on telling that other gods are all false gods, don't believe them. If necessary, go and fight with them. This is not religion. So now it is time, the modern times, so this we have to understand. So he is telling, oh, you are the God of gods. You could protect your family, but you didn't do that. The Uddhava is telling, you have the power to protect your family, but you didn't do that. I don't know why. You are the Ishara, you are the all-powerful. You could protect it. Samartha api. Even though you are capable, you didn't do. I don't know why you did it. It is up to you. So this is the devotee. They don't go and ask the God, hey, why you are not doing it? They'll never do it. Why? They know that there must be a purpose. Complete faith in God's actions. That is the devotion. What is devotion? Complete faith in God's action. The moment I am happy, oh, God is good. The moment I am unhappy, there is no God. I don't believe in God. Is this a devotee? <laughs> no. He is a, you know, the, in the market only. So he is going and even getting, getting these. No, this is not. So there should not be like that. I believe in God means in all action of God. I don't have any doubt. And I am not going to question. So that he is telling, I knew God. You are all powerful. And you could protect this, your own clan. But you didn't do that because you have decided to quit. I don't have any problem in that, oh Lord. I don't have anything to say about your decision. My problem is now the argument of the devotee. He is telling, my problem is Naham Taba Angri Kamalam Shanadharma Apikeshava Taktum Samutsahi Natha Swadhama Nayamamapi. My problem, O Keshava, even for half a moment, I dare not leave you. This is the love. The love is, I cannot leave you even for a second. No, I cannot leave. This is my problem. You are not doing this, that, that is your problem. You do whatever way. But when you are leaving, for you, Sadhama, what will happen to me? I am not going to leave you. I cannot. So he said in this way that please take me also with you to your own abode. Then it's okay. I want to be with you. This is the love of God. I don't want name. I don't want fame. 
I don't want physical comfort. I don't want anything except your company, O oh God. And that is called the love of God. Katam tuam priyam atmanam bhayam bhakta stajimahi. You know, when they say, they always respectfully, they say, bhayam, bhayam means we, always plural, never singular, I, I, I. In the Indian tradition, they say, no, this is bad. So always say, bhayam, we. Writing, here I learned, you are signing the letter, why you are mentioning we? Who are the we? So you must be I. So this is, so the tradition is, no, we. We means humble. Like me, many other people. It is not I only, your devotee. Like me, many other people are there. How shall we, your devotee, live without you? This is the argument of a devotee to God. You are our most beloved. You are always present in our mind. When you are sleeping, sitting, walking, leaving, bathing, sporting, eating, you are present. And this is called devotion. Practice of the presence of God every moment. This is called devotion. I just bathe one day and I go to the temple and offer the best uh, apple to the God and God, notice it. This is a very costly apple I am giving to you. So you should not forget my face and whenever I ask something, you must grant that immediately. Is this love? Is this devotion? This is only, you know, the, as Swamiji said, is a, that's why Jesus, he took up a stick in his hand and then started chasing the people in the synagogue. It's not a church, in the synagogue. And he was shouting, don't make my father's house a business house, a business place. And that is good, business. Oh, if you give me this much money, then I will give you this thing. God will protect you. This is a business. Who are you to give promise on behalf of the God? You are not supposed to. If the God comes to me and say that is different, but who are you? But most of the people will do. And most of us, the ordinary people, because we are afraid. We do not love God. If we love God, then we go and claim to him. Why you should not give it to me? You have given me the birth. And being my father, being my mother, you are supposed to protect me, to look after me. You must give me. The one lady was telling, can I ask something for me? And why not? Otherwise, where we will go? Who else is there? The one beggar came to a great king, Shamrat Akbar. He was the great. And then the, they asked, wait, the Akbar is praying. After his prayer, he will grant you. So the, he was listening to Akbar is praying, oh God, oh mighty, give me more power, give me more wealth, give me more. Then this man got up and he was going out. Akbar noticed it and he said, hey, what is it? Wait, let me finish my prayer. No, 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 I don't take anything from another beggar. What do you mean? I am the king of this place. No, you are begging to God. I will beg to God only directly. Why through you? I will go to God. So that is called the faith and that is called love and that is devotion. We talk about devotion. This is devotion. Saya sanatana sthana snana kriya sanadishu. In Sanskrit he is mentioning in every time, everywhere, when I am sleeping, I see you within my heart. When I am playing, you are with me each and every time. And then he is mentioning, this devotion is not mere emotional. It is based on the knowledge of your real self. Sometimes out of emotion we do, and that is the dangerous thing. Devotion without knowledge is bigotry. Is very narrow, dangerous power, not only for him, the person, also for the society. Dangerous with knowledge, I mean, devotion with knowledge, that is the only thing. So devotion without knowledge takes us to bondage and suffering for the society. Devotion with knowledge, that gives us mukti. And he is telling, I know, oh God, 
उच्चिष्ट भजनो दास स्तव मायम जये मही आई एम कोटिंग फ्रॉम द हाफ ऑफ द वर्ड्स when we take even the uchishta the food that the god has taken that's why you will find particularly catholics and the hindus the buddhist also they do nowadays so we offer food what is that most of the people they say prasad no that is the bhoga that do we offer when before the god eats that food is called bhoga we are offering that and after how the god is eating mashallah the money they be say if you are praying sincerely a light comes and it touches the food it becomes holy and if you take that that's called prashada the bhoga becomes prashada after god is touching it and it's true and that prashada this is good for others so uchishta bhajano dasa stava mayam jaye mahi by eating your prashad we can overcome the maya which is the cause of the bondage the moment the uddhava is mentioning the maya that means in the path of knowledge he knew it so and he is telling just remembering your action smaranta kritayantasti kritani gaditani cha gadit gaditani means words and this is called another you know, the internal puja external puja internal puja in the internal puja you are listening to god all alone sitting and then you are talking to god listening to god and you are listening from others also you go to the places where they talk about the god and you listen that and you become very happy because i love and when somebody is talking about my beloved naturally i get joy and that is the sign of devotion friends i think we should stop over here and please pray for me that everything goes well because it is a big big venture that i am going to take and very new type of thing so i am going to bring all the different type of religious groups in one place to discuss and the intra religious among the hindus there are so many sects that if they come and sit among the christians so many different churches if they come and sit and discuss we love jesus only i explain that jesus and his path the god in this way that's all so why we should be so long, long back when i was young i uh, uh, observed a movie the last valley if you if i think that is still there you can see how cruel those people were and the father was a catholic so he was killing all the protestant people in london england and then afterwards his daughter became the queen and she was killing all the catholics the last the soldiers are coming to kill the last valley terrible in the name of god and what the jesus said whom they were worshiping for whom they were killing that person said that god said love thy neighbor as thyself so the misunderstanding so if we can that is the one thing then cultural meet then not only singing and dancing but at the same time see if the other people they come and cook and the hindus will cook well, what is the difference not much always the same ingredients you are using so why do we say oh they are all bad and if you can meet together so these are the things i am going to do then online religious classes then if you pay 10 dollar you will be registered and then for the 10 months all our material will reach you and then after one and 15 days one month 15 days question paper will go you have to answer then our teachers will give you the marks and then next then next so after 10 months you know about hinduism you know about christianity you know about hinduism so like this it will be this is a totally different type of project that i am going to do many of you have helped me i am so grateful but recently one young gentleman one young lady from san francisco 
she forwarded me then one young gentleman helped me to do that he is very good in computer and we have developed that and most of you perhaps got it that our facebook they are going to give 7 million dollar in one day that too i think 7 or 8 hours i don't know in 8 hours 7 million but anyway if you please remember that and we have the uh, the uh, I think that link is there. Many of you, most of you, you are the uh, you are having that Facebook account. So only thing that you have to be careful that central time two hours this way. They are starting at seven o'clock. I think over there that means it will be early for us. But if you get up and just click something, fifty dollar, hundred dollar, whatever, it will be double to us. So like that, if you can do it, and that is on Giving Tuesday. So in Giving Tuesday, if you donate something in the name of Vedanta, Vivekananda Vedanta Society, we are registered there, and we will get some money. So we, we have money now to purchase that church, but we need another five, six, six to 700,000 again, because the local authority, they said all this time it was the grandfather status, but now that you are entering into as a new, so you have to follow all this safety code, well, naturally, and we like to follow that, and uh, this is the thing. So now I should hurry, and I will say Namaskar to all of you from here itself, and please uh, remember this, and come afterwards, I will announce when we get that, we will meet over there with new friends and new faces, of course. So let us chant this mantra and take the blessings of God. And all, of course, your all best wishes. I will go to the church. Yam Brahma, Barunendra, Rudra Maruta, Stunanti. Dibbaistabai Bidai Sangha Padakramo Panishadai Gayanti Yam Samagaha Dhyana Vastita Tadgati Namanasa Pashyanti Yam Yogina Yasyantam Nabidu Sura Asura Gana Devaya Tasmai Namaha Om Shanti 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 Hari Om